The next app that we're gonna take a look at starts in the portrait mode. So we've gone and changed things up for you. This is called A Vision. It is A-V-I-S-I-O-N. We'll go ahead and leave the, the links to all of these apps and their home pages down in the description so you guys can take a look at them. So let's take a look at this app. What makes it different is it starts directly with your Lance Grid. It starts directly with an environmental check with a location. And if I wanted to plan a mission, there's a click, quick plus button down at the bottom. I can change the base map here, which I always like to do, but go ahead and just start on the bottom. We're going to do a new flight plan. We're going to set the altitude at 200 feet. I can either click, it looks like I can't click in the block, but I can use the slider to get to 200 feet. I would like the ability to be able to click into it. It is an area, ooh, that's a little touchy. There we go, oh, 201, fine, close enough. Um, I can create a flight plan and tap and hold to create a new waypoint. So in this case, I'm gonna zoom into the park again and I tap and hold, creates a waypoint. Tap and hold, creates a waypoint tap and hold, and tap and hold. There we go. There's our mission. As it's set, I can hit, uh, I can give it a name. In this case, we can just go with our handy dandy test. Okay, done. It's gonna go ahead and say check flight alerts. Now, hmm, that's because we're in a Lance area with a 400 foot ceiling. So I can check the flight alerts. And if I had a Lance authorization, it does have terrain avoidance available in a pro version, structure avoidance in a pro version. Here, I'm just gonna take a look at the Lance authorization because this is the free version of eVision and I can go ahead and it pulls up my information automatically so I put it in, um, max altitude, 201 feet, hit next. It's gonna take a look at the authorization. I can go through the authorization request check boxes. Um, I will maintain visual line of sight. I will fly in good weather. The aircraft is compliant. I'll only control the one aircraft and I will comply with any airspace restrictions and TFRs. And I agree with the privacy statement. Submit authorization and it's authorized. I'm good to go. It's uh, it's very, very quick is how quick it comes back. I now come back and I, I've now saved this uh, and it's ready to fly. So I now have the authorization, I'm good to go and I can go back and I can now fly this mission directly within this app very, very simply. One thing I do wanna check is I wanna see if I can change any of the flight plan settings. So if I click on the three dots at the top, I go to flight plan settings and the only setting that's available is the altitude. That is slightly problematic. I wonder if it's at a, uh, a grosser level where I can actually change that flight plan, that info, that change that information. So if I go into flight plans, I can see the flight plan. I can copy the flight plan. Doesn't look like I'm able to change. Let's check some of the preferences. Let's go to preferences. And yep, once again, doesn't allow me to change any of the overlap settings, any of the speed settings. So uh, maybe in the pro version, I can change those. Uh, with some advanced waypoint settings, but I'm not gonna pay $99 for the year just to test it. Um, but it does give you additional capabilities. I, I would like to give it a shot, but it doesn't let me change any of those flight, it doesn't let me change any of those settings, which is slightly annoying. I don't know what overlap it's gonna be, front lap, side lap, it's just gonna let me fly that area. Um, and I guess I hope that it'll collect everything. So that's a bit of a bummer for me. If I'm flying a 2D or 3D ortho mosaic, it's gonna be a little bit hard to know how it's gonna collect it if I can't change any of those flight pan settings. But it is nice that it lets me do a lot of other things. So as you can see, these apps are all different. So there's, it's based on your preferences, your uh, the way that you fly, the way that you plan, the way that you like to capture the interface. All these things are very, very different. So you get to sort of make your up your own mind, but I'm gonna go and definitely provide my opinion as well.